<coughs> I'm here today for my son, Oliver Martin, my beautiful boy. Oliver lived life to the fullest, but didn't have an easy life. He had a severe learning disability, dyslexia, as a young child went through the divorce of his parents and was told early in school that he would never make it to university. Oliver took these challenges and ran with them. He graduated from Lowson School of Business at Concordia University in 2005 on student loans and summer jobs. He was working for Russell Investments, a firm he researched as being one of the best employers in Canada. Oliver was a dedicated sportsman, working on his blue belt in kickboxing, and studying hard for his second level CFA exam, which he wrote on June 7, 2008. He was one of the 46% worldwide to pass this exam. He had a wide circle of friends, close friends, and was cherished by his family. Shortly after midnight, on June 13, Oliver and his girlfriend were getting a ride with his best friend Dylan. After watching a basketball game at the boys' place on Richmond Street, Dylan got a call asking him if he could bring back the friend's keys he still had. Oliver and his girlfriend were having such fun driving with Dylan that they agreed to take the trip back. The car was stopped by someone in front of the boys' place on Richmond West. This person fatally shot Dylan, tried to shoot Oliver while he told his girlfriend to get down. Then this person aimed his gun at Oliver, who was trapped in his seat and shot him through the heart. This is brief history describes and makes real the importance of finding the coward who did this. My life ended with Oliver's. His sisters, who loved him dearly, will never be the same. His stepfather and father and the rest of our large, loving family have lost their innocence. Please, if you have any information, help us find this murderer. If the killer is listening to this, Come clean and come forward. Premier McGinty and Mayor Miller are pressing Harper to ban handguns.